Ladies and gentlemen of the Aerot Lab of South Africa, as you all know about transformation and development, commonly referred to as TND, and some of you not quite clear about its activities, purpose, and importance within the aviation sphere, and in particular within Aerot Lab, let me lay doubt to rest and clear vision in many minds. Having personally attended many air shows, listening to people and critics, fellow aviators and aviation enthusiasts, the most common question is, what is this TND? As a result, I have resorted to calling it exactly what it is. Transformation and development, that's what it is. And this means being in sync with the national idea, the purpose in this case, of correcting the national population imbalance within the aviation sphere. Well, as Chairman of Transformation and Development, I compiled this clip to demonstrate to the Aerot Lab members what the drivers of this project get up to when we are not at our respective work careers or studies or with our families. Our latest event was the International Civil Aviation Day, ICAD, held at Mafikeng in December 2012. We were requested by the Civil Aviation Authority to be present and assist with aviation awareness for over 2,000 individuals in a period of three days. As it is a common occurrence when such great operations are executed, we do meet our larger than fair share of obstacles and challenges presented by misguided, conflicted and confound behaviors. A deep appreciation goes to the National Lottery, Aeroclub, RASA, SAMA, and CAA for their assistance by means of financial and physical participation in ensuring appropriate contribution towards development of previously disadvantaged individuals within the South African aviation globe. A group of keen aviation devotees gathered at summer offices on 3rd December 2012 to start preparations by cutting over 20,000 balsa sticks for building Delta Darts with the leading assistance of Mr. Bob Skinner, General Manager for SAMA. On Wednesday, 5th December 2012, they were transported to Mafikeng to commence with the CAA ICAT collaboration as per request and agreement between the Aero Club office and the leading national bodies in aviation. The order of events went down as follows. Day 1. Took off with a bang, rearranging of stands, arranging layout, and unpacking of aviation awareness inducing paraphernalia. Over 500 kids were brought in from all over the northwestern province on opening day. Needless to say, we were extremely busy answering inquisitive young minds and demonstrating by means of a delta dart the aerodynamics of flight contraptions. At this event, as with most of its nature, the team had an opportunity to meet and liaise with other sections such as South African Women in Aviation, SAWIA, Dinell, and many more who applauded this initiative and showed interest in learning more about Aeroclub Transformation and Development Project. Day 2 Started on a high note as well, it felt like day one all over again. We were presented with 450 scholars. We conducted our services not only to the scholars. The transformation and development stand was drawing massive attention to high caliber aviators, industry enterprises, and political bearers alike. The Aero Club, 
summer and rasa flag was flying high. Our presence was highly appreciated. Some of the highlights for the transformation and development team were 1. An invitation of three team members, Ms. Dumi from Rasa, Mr. Joseph from Sama, Mr. Kamohelo from Aero Club by Johan Blokis Hubert to come and experience the feeling of sitting in Mzanze's best fighter jet, the Gripen. Secondly, the CAA also requested the team to accompany a group of 60 scholars in a Hercules C-130 and to coach them about aviation careers in South Africa. This was an adventure worth remembering for all who was aboard. For the first time you're in a plane? Yes! I was so scared I read the escape road first before the plane took off. <laughs> what a flight! Yes. 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 And thirdly, to have a photo shoot session with our very own best Silver Falcons team, who was very inspirational to the transformation and development team members as they have all been introduced, coached and mentored through the various transformation and development projects. A media crew requested permission to interview myself to give a brief account on the nature of the project and the organization's background and future endeavors with regard to transformation and development. Day 3 was the most challenging for the team as we had to do a Delta Dart building session with over 120 disabled groups of scholars from various parts of Mafikeng. We were all hands-on and busy as we had knives and glues to work with, so special precaution had to be highly taken into practice. The transformation and development stand was honored with a special visit from the Premier of Northwest, Meta Ndimudise who was captivated by our program and the model planes that were hanging from the roof. She requested that her office make a follow-up of the program as she would like to see this kind of initiative intensify in the Northwest region. The team members, Gamuhelo, a keen aviation enthusiast and gift, current glider pilot at Transcorp Gliding Club in Brits, managed to demonstrate how a model glider works and managed to answer some challenging questions from the Premier's entourage, who were also renowned pilots and were impressed by the knowledge base of these team members. Meta Andy was fascinated by the mechanics and electronics of the models. We are currently engaged in negotiations with the Office of the Premier to establish an aviation awareness group in Mafike. As the transformation and development business was going abuzz, I was hands-on managing the Aeroclub Safety First Aviator Stand, where we let the pilots read the credo and pledge commitment by signing and we handed out Safety First DVDs, stickers and badges. After all the talking, cutting and gluing, the team managed to get some time off to enjoy the airshow. And also some time to chill in the pool and have fun while interacting with the South African Air Force members. A special thank you to the team that made it all possible, starting from the left. Maureen, Zimkita, Janine, Wezi, Clara, Dumi, Joseph, Gamorello, Lucky, Gift, Spiwe, 
and Daniel. Dedicated members of the Aero Club, without your commitment and assistance, transformation in the aviation sphere would not be possible in our lovely country and by taking part in the development of our youth, we are contributing to a better South Africa for all.